Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you'd never ask, Heidi. It's Friday, the 17th day of May. We are cruising through this month, man. <laughs> yeah, we are. Uh, today is International Child Helpline Day. It is National Cherry Cobbler Day. International Minecraft Day. I know you've got uh, some nephews that play that. I've never really they used, played that. I don't know oh, they, they don't do anymore. anymore. It's been oh, yeah, years. they're all grown up now. They probably yeah. don't do that. Rat Pack Day today. No, nope. Love the Rat Pack. Take that pack. back. Pack Rat Day today. Well, that's a totally different <laughs> day, and I probably won't celebrate that Well, you one. do love a pack rat because you love me. I'm a bit of a pack rat. World Hypertension Day today. That is also Yikes. me. NASCAR Day. Bike to Work Day. And pizza party day today. All of those things happening on this, what is it? Friday. Holy cow. Cruising through the week as well. I've got a guest joining me for a comedy call. I have Modi, very funny comic. Going to be chatting with Modi coming up in a bit. Whether you have a credit card now and need a better credit card, or if you don't even have a credit card, but you'd like to get a good one, we would love to help at bettercreditcards.com. We offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a card to give you cash back or points and perks, or a credit card to help you build your credit, we can help you find a good fit for you at bettercreditcards.com. Give yourself a lead. Credit. At bettercreditcards.com. bettercreditcards.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by bettercreditcards.com. Researchers from Hamilton, Ontario, Men, uh, McMaster University say that expiration dates on your groceries don't paint an accurate picture of when it's time to throw out food. There are several new packaging products that could soon check for bacteria and signal when it is time to dispose of it. Problem is that despite estimates, it would only cost pennies to add the smart technology to every bag of food. Manufacturers are still reluctant to tack on any more costs, especially right now with prices going up anyway. Researchers, however, argue that smart packaging could save consumers money by cutting down on food and waste. And that's why the people who make the food don't want those things. Yeah, I don't know if that's the case or not, but it probably, it certainly doesn't look good for them. Uh, here's the thing that I will tell you I am an expiration date watcher, and you my wife are. is not. I'll, it's ridiculous. I'll look. I'm like, this expired two weeks ago, and Heidi's like, it's fine. Just knock the but mold clearly off. Clearly, the eat dates it. don't mean anything because you just told me a story. Yeah, but that, that there was some mold in this bag that on you che- opened. And some cheese. It doesn't expire until next month. But it doesn't month. have an. Ex- so you kept yeah. it because it's not expired. Yeah. You just took the mold. I took off. the mold out. So how's like, that any different? Heidi would be so proud of me right now. <laughs> I had to tell her well, I did that. because the date on the bag told you it was I fine. I just thought it was weird that there was mold, <laughs> and it doesn't expire for another month. All right. Surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. So how do you like these gas prices? Not great, huh? How would you like to save money every time you get gas? I've been using this app for a few years, and it's amazing. You can find out more at Radiosavings.com. When I first heard about it, I didn't think we'd have this in our area but they seem to have stuff all over the place. You can sign up for free and try it for yourself. They have savings on gas, but on many other things too, like restaurants and convenience stores. Try it for free at radiosavings.com. That's radiosavings.com. Did you know? Brought to you by genesisgoldira.com. Heidi, did you know that a research project found that in order to avoid an argument with somebody that people care about, 80% of us just remain quiet even when we really want to say something. Does that sound about right to you? Guess which percentage I'm in. She's in the 20% (laughs) that don't much care. I, by the way, am in the 80% most of the time because I love this woman and I want to continue to be married to her. I just go, okay, that sounds great. And then I move on with my day. You never do that. That is such BS. No, I do it a bunch. Uh We don't know everything, but now we know this. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by Radiosavings.com. MTV will not be celebrating the best pop culture this year. They're going to have their uh, movie and TV awards nixed for this year. Not going to do the MTV movie and TV awards. Everyone's going to be so disappointed. And I already had my outfit picked out and everything. (laughs) Oprah Winfrey is taking responsibility for her contribution to diet culture. She said, I need to do better. So she's... Taking some of the blame. And uh, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. I had a gentleman on the program not too long ago that was in that program. It helped to wake the box office up from their spring slumber. They did quite well at the box office. And That's exciting. A special to commemorate the 50th anniversary of Saturday Night Live is planned for February on NBC. 
The network is planning a celebratory weekend that culminates with a live primetime three-hour special Sunday, February the 16th of 2025. So that's kind of cool. 50 years is a big deal. Yeah, that's a very uh, big deal. That is the same age as me. It was uh, it was launched in 1975, and I was born in 1975. So that means I will be turning 50 as well. <laughs> yeah, it's a little Big, disheartening, isn't it, is. it? When you think about when you that. put it into perspective, yeah. it's cute for a TV show, <laughs> and for me, it's like, eh, stay away from me. <laughs> Big screen, little screen. Brought to you by RadioSavings.com. Do you have a mobile phone? How much do you pay every month? If that number is more than 15 bucks, it's time for a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current phone. At Mintervention.com, you can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying, just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mentorvention.com. That's Mentorvention.com. Now your scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. Barbara Streisand just released her first new song in almost six years. Really? I, I didn't, didn't even know she did one six I years ago. I was going to say exactly the same thing. I wonder what they are. I have to listen. <laughs> I, I now, don't I, know. I'm seriously interested in seeing what they sound like. So, And in other news, Beyonce revealed recently that she cuts her own hair. And here I thought it was a slow news she's got day. A, she's got a flow <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, you know who does? George Clooney. Isn't that crazy? I watched a video where he was talking to somebody about the fact that he, he cuts his own hair. They're like, what? He goes, yeah, I use a thing. And he laughed. He goes, it's called a flow Do you remember the commercials for those? There he was had like, to have been kidding. I don't think so. I don't know. <laughs> Either way, I don't think Beyonce is using a flow <laughs> And it's the hottest trend, aside from asking women if they'd rather be stuck in a forest with a man or a bear. It's uh, a different trend. Ridiculous. One of the, the hottest way. trends among foodies, eating lemons. And uh, if you think that sounds like kind of an ordeal that no one should put themselves through, just to make lemons. it worse, these people are also eating the peel of the lemon. Oh, okay. Yeah. Here's where the trend started. TikTok. Yeah. Imagine that. Users discovered a type of snackable lemons made by an Italian company called Lemon Snack. They grow small, low acidic lemons with an edible peel. Oh, okay. Well, so, then this would be something that is. And uh, apparently, the peel itself is rich in antioxidants. And they use so these why is lemons. It a trend if they're supposed to be eaten. Why is everybody doing it? I don't get it. What? Did you say it's a trend on TikTok? Yeah. Why is it a trend if it's okay, if they're okay. supposed to be But eaten? nobody had been doing this for a while. Ah. These lemons are made to take a bite right out of, no peeling necessary. So TikTok users post videos, 9 million views on one of them. This lady said she found the snack at her grocery store in Germany. Influencers then put some salt and chili powder onto the lemon for taste and pronounced it so awesome. Another user cut it into slices and added honey and tahine, calling it good but very sour. I would Oddly, try one. Her friends said that the con concoction somehow tasted like pepperoni. So, what? Yeah. I would try one. I wouldn't film myself and put it out there for the world Heidi to see. just wants to be a TikTok influencer. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm striving no. for. All right. Scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. Can your IRA or 401k stand up to the next financial crisis by allocating a percentage of your retirement into physical gold and silver with a tax-free rollover? You can diversify and safeguard your holdings from turbulent markets and economic downturns. Safeguard your assets with a tax-free rollover with a Genesis Gold IRA, the only IRA that can hold physical precious metals. Protect your retirement today with a simple phone call and receive your free gold and silver guide. Call 1-800-200-GOLD or visit GenesisGoldIRA.com. Thank you for listening to the John and Heidi Show. Excited to have a comedy call today with Modi. Very, very funny comic. Just put out his first comedy special. But Modi, how long have you been doing stand-up comedy? It's my first official special, yes. Uh, I've been doing comedy 30 years. It's funny, I'm celebrating my 30th anniversary. I've been touring all over America. We've been in Dallas, and then, uh, we're, we just got back from um, Orlando, and we're going to Cleveland, and uh, everywhere, everywhere, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, um, all, all over the all over the place, and uh, it's been amazing. It's been an amazing, amazing 2024. And we're not even halfway through the year yet. Holy cow! And uh, now here's one of the things I always like to ask because you've been doing this 30 years. What was it 30 years ago that made you decide to climb on stage and share your innermost stories, these deep, dark, interesting thoughts as a stand-up comic? To, to be honest with you, it was years ago when I was booking an investment banking, 
And my uh, friend, and I used to come home and imitate the secretary. My friend said, do it on stage. You'll have a blast. Uh, you know, try it. And that's how it happened. My friend set up a night of op- an open mic night. And I came from work in a suit. And I did, um, I did uh, my first open mic, and uh, that's when I caught the bug, 1993 or four. And the rest, as they say, is history. So do you remember how long was that first set? Was it like a five-minute open mic? I, I, to be honest, probably five minutes. They, they never give you more than that for an open <laughs> mic. Um, and I was having a ba- I remember I One thing I remember that, 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 that night, everybody else bombed. All the other comments bombed. And I went up there. I completely didn't care. I wasn't like I didn't want to be a comedian. I was doing this as a as a, as a gag kind of a thing, and it just clicked. And the owner said you should keep at it and try yeah. it and keep doing it. And um, and that's that's how it began. That's literally how it began. Now think about this. How hard would it be for you to go back and do just a five minute set when now you can do an hour special? It's so hard. But the the short sets are the hardest sets. Um, it's near impossible now, but I, I, once in a while you pop on for a quick five minutes to, 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 to work on a material. Yeah. But that, that, that's back, back, back then that was five minutes. Uh, who, who knew you can do that? Then it just went right into, uh, into full long sets. I know when I began doing comedy, I caught the tail end of the cat skills. Oh yeah. There were some hotels up in the cat skills. Yeah. And so I was one of the only New York comics that were able to go up and do like an hour and 10 minutes of comedy. So I had to learn fast and write material really quick. And it was uh, an amazing experience. And Modi, I got to tell you, I love the name of the special, Know Your Audience. That's important anywhere nowadays on social media, on the radio, wherever, but especially when you're doing stand-up comedy, you got to know the audience. Uh, yeah, you have to know your audience. Otherwise, your jokes are going to bomb. You, you need to know in front of what you're standing and uh, and who's going to get what and how to deliver it. And wherever you are, where, wherever you, you, you have to be able to look at them and just see it, you know? And, and, I say- and know the cadence of this audience and, and know... The size of the room, too. It's a whole bunch of things that are all in um, a part of connecting to your audience. And and this is not just for comedians. This is for everybody everywhere, really, because I've seen this happen in the real world where somebody is just completely oblivious to who they're standing by, and they're saying these things, and I'm like, do, read the room, man. Do you, do you not realize yeah. where read you're standing? The These are horrible 100%. things to say, man. Yeah, exactly. A hundred percent. Yes. No, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's a life lesson. You know your audience. Yeah. Again, our guest is Modi. He's got a brand new special. It just recently came out. It's called Know Your Audience. It's available through 800 Pound Gorilla. Is this the first time you've worked with 800 Pound Gorilla? Yeah, it's the first time we, we, we did it with them. And it's available. And, and e- easier way to get to it is through my website, ModiLive.com. It pops you right onto the page where you can get it. And, um, yeah, 800 pound gorilla has been great. And we've been, uh, we're, I'm like blessed that it came out now. It's like, I think it's the, per- the perfect time for this to, to land with what's happening in the world. Absolutely. Well, I appreciate you taking the time to chat with us, and I'm going to watch the rest of it now. And like I said, what I've seen so far is very funny. I, I wish I had a little more time to watch it all before we talked, but now, again, very excited to see the rest. And thank you for your time today. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Again, our guest today, a very funny stand-up comic by the name of Modi, and his special is called Know Your Audience. You can find it on his page, which is ModiLive.com, and I'm going to make it super simple and super easy for you to find it. I'll throw a link directly to it in the show notes for today at JohnAndHeidiShow.com. Thank you for listening to our comedy call on the John and Heidi Show. Whether you have a credit card now and need a better credit card, or if you don't even have a credit card but you'd like to get a good one, we would love to help at bettercreditcards.com. We offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit, we can help you find a good fit for you at bettercreditcards.com. Give yourself a little credit at bettercreditcards.com. bettercreditcards.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? The word friends is said in every episode of a TV show called Friends. Yeah, every single episode they say the I word guess fans. I've never paid any attention to that. I have not either, but that. somebody apparently did, and I don't know if that was on purpose or if it just happened. I'm sure it was on purpose, and it's probably. a tiny bit obnoxious. Well, a little bit. All right, fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? 27,000 trees are sacrificed every day for the world's toilet paper supply. 27,000. 
every make, day. T- well, that everybody should get a bidet. There you go. Fun but fact. They should for make it. toilet paper out of bamboo. Okay. Because um, it regenerates by itself. I'll send that up the line to the people in my department here. <laughs> What's that? We don't do anything with that? Okay. <laughs> I'll move back on with this then. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? The U.S. Pentagon has plans for combating a zombie apocalypse. So if that happens, they're prepared for it. <laughs> That's your tax dollars at work, <laughs> yeah. folks. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? In the script, Arnold Schwarzenegger's classic line was, I'll come back. But he said, I'll be back. And then the rest is history. There you go. And... Oh, one last fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? The more full your refrigerator is, the more energy efficient it is. So if it's empty and only has one thing, you're wasting energy. I that bet. makes sense. Yeah. Several fun facts. Now you know. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show. So how do you like these gas prices? Not great, huh? How would you like to save money every time you get gas? I've been using this app for a few years, and it's amazing. You can find out more at radiosavings.com. When I first heard about it, I didn't think we'd have this in our area but they seem to have stuff all over the place. You can sign up for free and try it for yourself. They have savings on gas, but on many other things too, like restaurants and convenience stores. Try it for free at radiosavings.com. That's radiosavings.com. Time now for the Mint Mobile question of the day. Comes your way, courtesy of mintervention.com. Question, Heidi. One in five people use the cup holder in their car for this. What is it? I would not do this. It's a bad idea. For a cell phone holder? No, just for trash. They throw trash in there. Oh, no. Yeah. I, I put my cell phone in my Yeah, I put cell time. phone. I put a drink in there maybe sometimes. You know, other stuff in there no, that you're carrying I, with. No, I don't. We use and, the door for trash. <laughs> yeah. So th- there's a little, there's a trash container in your door. That's what it's for. <laughs> Probably not. Mint Mobile question of the day comes your way, courtesy of Mintervention.com. Do you have a mobile phone? How much do you pay every month? If that number is more than 15 bucks, it's time for a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current phone. At Mintervention.com, you can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying, just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Now some weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. Footage of a stand-up water slide in a German water park surfaced on social media, and some people have some concerns. Videos a stand-up water yeah, slide. Yeah, videos of the Sourland surfer at Aquamegas shared on TikTok show a person standing upright as water flows around them, oh pushing them down a slide. The slide features high walls, which is very important, uh, and apparently it assists the user to remain upright, so you can like put your hands on there. However, some commenters have shared concerns over how safe this ride could actually be. One writing, I've been on one of those, and I fell, and it hurt so badly. Another said, sometimes there's a reason why nobody has done it before. <laughs> so, yeah. does that just seem just weird? Just because they could doesn't mean they should. Yeah. So this is designed to stand up while you're going down the water slide. Yeah, that seems like a really bad idea. So you're really like surfing down idea. a water slide, which don't try that at a regular water slide because you can go over the side and die. So yeah, let's just let's just let's not. not. Weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. Time now for the list brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Sometimes I'll have a list where I know I'm not going to get through all of it, but I'm going to have all of this online. These are dog breed origin stories. The Basset Hound. Name goes back to the 1600s, and it Those has to do. Those are adorable. It has to do with them being very low in appearance, which is bass means low in French, so that's why they call them that. Okay. Rottweiler from the Middle Ages. Butchers in Germany of uh, the city of Rottweil used them as guard dogs. Oh. Husky. The term originated in the 1800s, and it's a uh, dev- uh, derivation. Derivation. <laughs> It's a it's it's a one of those things. <laughs> I don't know another word for derivation of husky, a husky dog. Husky. Which okay. basically means an Eskimo dog. Okay. Chow chow. The name chow chow is an nonsense word that English uh, people say, but it actually comes from a different word in China. Beagle comes from an old French word, bigel, which means wide throat. Oh. So, and there's a bunch more if you want to read all of these. 
Uh, maybe not a bunch more. There's several more, though. In the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Can your IRA or 401k stand up to the next financial crisis by allocating a percentage of your retirement into physical gold and silver with a tax-free rollover? You can diversify and safeguard your holdings from turbulent markets and economic downturns. Safeguard your assets with a tax-free rollover with a Genesis Gold IRA, the only IRA that can hold physical precious metals. Protect your retirement today with a simple phone call and receive your free gold and silver guide. Call 1-800-200-GOLD or visit genesisgoldira.com. Now your quote of the day comes your way, courtesy of radiosavings.com. Our quote today is from Lily Tomlin. I always thought Lily Tomlin seemed pretty funny. She's funny lady in her her quote here. The road to success is always under construction. Always. (laughs) Kind of seems like it is. Always. Yeah. So if you thought that it was going to just be simple and easy. Just when you get to a smooth road, just hold on. You're coming up to a bumpy part again. Things have been going great for the last few months. Wait a minute. I shouldn't have said that out loud. Say it out loud. (laughs) Quote of the day comes your way, courtesy of radiosavings.com. John and Heidi. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news, and I think this is good news. It comes your way courtesy of GenesisGoldIRA.com. And this, I think, is just a really great story. A 91-year-old donates half a million dollars to a local fire department. This happened in Kansas City, Missouri. In the heart of Henry County, the Calhoun Volunteer Fire Department stands as a beacon to the community uh, and the re- resilience. Uh, it says, under the leadership of Fire Chief Mark Hardin, the department has embraced the motto, Neighbors Helping Neighbors. And he got there in 2021. But that was important to him, that we are neighbors helping neighbors, right? Mm-hmm. While reflecting on their journey, he emphasized the collective effort that has been driving their progress. He says there's a sense of pride in the community. And it's not just one person, it's all of us. However, the department faced a significant challenge because they were running with limited resources. They had trucks that were not working. They had, you know, imagine trying to run a fire department with trucks that don't work. And he said not many of them actually ran. Only one would run at a time. Yikes. Undeterred by these obstacles, he decided to get some volunteers to come and help. And during all of this, there was a gentleman, 91 years old, he... Was his generosity is known uh, for all, all around that area for doing good things, but he pledged an astounding half a million dollars to Ooh. the fire department. He said while humbled by the recognition, he insists that my contribution is simply an investment in our community's safety. For sure. So how cool is that? Wow. So again, the guy's ninety one years old, and he decided, hey, I'm gonna. I'm not going to be able to take this money with me anyway, so I'm going to give some of it to this group. And I love that. Yeah, that's excellent. I've got a link to that story in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thank you so much for listening. I know there's a lot of options out there and things you could listen to, but we appreciate you listening right here. Thanks for joining us on the John and Heidi Show.